Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In our previous videos, we have talked about some excellent JavaScript tools that is ESLint, Prettier, Husky and Lint Staged that help us maintain our JavaScript code clean and error free. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I highly recommend checking them out. They are must have tool for anyone working with JavaScript. I will include the links to the video tutorials in the description. Today we are going to shift our focus to PHP universe with another wonderful tool PHP CS Fixer. This fantastic tool automatically formats your PHP code to meet coding standards. Additionally, I will show you how to set a PHP CS Fixer in Visual Studio Code. So let's get started. First thing, what is PHP CS Fixer and why should you care? It is a tool for automatically formatting your PHP code to meet coding standards. Think of it as a friendly robot that goes through your PHP code and makes it neat, tidy and consistent. It helps you write cleaner and more readable code. Imagine you are working on a collaborative PHP project with a team of developers. Each developer has their own coding style and preferences. For example, let's go to editor. Here I have already prepared a Laravel application and let's go to model user.php. Let's say some developers like to start curly brackets for this class like this. Similarly, maybe no empty line after this use import and maybe some developers like to use straight in one line and some like to use straight like this and let's say another developer working on another file braces for function like this and some developer not using indentation properly like this resulting in a mix of different formatting styles in the code base as the project grows the inconsistency in code formatting increases leading to several issues. It became challenging to read and understand the code, especially when you switch between different parts of the project. And making changes or fixing bugs becomes a hard task because of the messy code base. This is where PHP CS Fixer comes to rescue. It automatically formats the code to follow predefined coding standards, making it consistent and readable. Let's proceed with the installation of PHP CS Fixer and see it in action. So here this is the official GitHub repository for PHP CS Fixer. So scroll down. Here is the installation step. And to install this we need to run this composer command in the terminal. So let's copy this. And on the terminal let's run this. The installation is now complete and the PHP CS Fixer binary file can be found in the vendor bin directory. Let's see. So ls vendor bin and here you can see we have PHP CS Fixer. So from this project root directory we can run the command vendor bin PHP CS Fixer. Now to fix PHP files we can use the fix command followed by the directory we want to scan for php files let's say we want to scan app directory before running this command let's make sure we have some inconsistent code in the project so in the editor here in this controller we can see we have intendation issues and in the user.php here also we have inconsistent code now in the terminal, let's run this command. It is complete and you can see it has fixed issues in these files. And the inconsistent code in the user.php is resolved. And in the controller, you can see the intendation issue is also resolved. In the user.php, you can also notice that the use traits are now being used on separate lines. How cool is that? Let's undo this 
to get back the inconsistent code here in this controller also let's undo this now in terminal with this command we can also pass dash dash diff flag it will show the changes made in the files on terminal let's run this here you can see these are the changes it had made we can also use custom rules or predefined presets by adding the dash dash rules flag followed by the rule set name for instance we can use at psr12 in the phpcs fixer github repository on this link we have predefined rule sets let's open this in the new tab and here are the predefined rule sets and we are going to use this one Now in terminal let's run this before running this command let's go to editor and discard these changes now on the terminal let's run this now it has formatted these files using psr12 rule set alternatively we can customize the rules by adding them to the php cs fixer configuration file so in the github repository and here this is the list of extension for different code editors let's see this vs code editor let's open this in the new tab scroll down here this is the example configuration for php cs fixer so let's create this in our project so first we need to create this php cs fixer dot php configuration file in the project root directory so let's go to the editor and in the project root file let's create a new file and its name is dot php cs fixer dot php now in this file i'm going to copy this configuration and paste that here it's all done Now this command will search for configuration file in the project root directory. If it finds the file, it will load it. Otherwise, it will load the default configuration. Let's run this. Now here you can see it has loaded the configuration from the project root directory php cs fixer dot php. But here we get this error. Rule contains conflicting fixer. So for that. Let's copy this and in the code let's search for this config rule and here it is true let's set this false now let's run this again now these files are fixed according to the rules defined in this configuration file you can also pass the configuration file using the dash dash config dot php cs fixer dot php like this now in the editor in this php cs fixer configuration these are the example rules that we can set according to our preferences or project needs and you can also notice that here it is using psr12 rules let's see one example so here we have array syntax and the current setting is syntax short suppose we want to change it to long and now in the user.php here you can see the short array syntax now let's run the php cs fixer on terminal and see after running this command we can see that all these files including user.php has been updated with the long array syntax here you can see array parentheses and their values let's see other files also let's say in the event service provider here we have array long syntax with this one command we have changed the array long syntax in these all files how cool is that let's revert to the original short array syntax now let's go to user.php and here it is back to array short syntax let's see one more example so in the php cs fixer config file 
here I'm going to search for no unused import this one currently it is commented and comment this and it is true this rule removes all unused imports from the code for example in the user.php here this use import is commented let's uncomment this now this class is not used in this file so it is unused so this rule going to remove this let's see so in terminal let's run this php cs fixer command and you can see it has fixed the user.php now in the editor you can notice that unused import is removed we can verify it from the user.php from here this must verify class is removed from here right now in this command we are using php cs fixer to scan and fix the issues in the app directory however we can make it scan all the php files in the project root directory by passing dot like this let's run this command now you can see that it has scanned all the files in the current directory and fixed it but it has also scanned and fixed the files in the bootstrap and storage directory we do not want that we want to exclude these two directories because laravel uses the bootstrap directory to store some cache files for example packages and services and this storage directory is used to store blade view files cache logs and other upload files we want php cs fixer should ignore files in the bootstrap and storage directory let's configure this so in the dot php cs fixer config file right here i'll say dollar finder is equal to php cs fixer finder create next here call in in this in method we need to pass the path where this uh, php cs fixer should scan for php files here i will pass the current directory and then we call exclude and this exclude method going to accept array and in this array we are going to pass name of directories that php cs fixer should ignore in our case that is bootstrap and storage and also vendor let's say if you are using docker so we pass docker also like this and next we will call for name and here i will pass star dot php so it should scan all the php files and next not name here we will specify the name of the files that it should ignore for example let's say server dot php similarly here i'll call star dot blade dot php like this and next i'll call ignore dot files true so we should ignore all the hidden folders and finally ignore vcs true so it should ignore the version control system files next right here we will say set finder and pass this variable like this next in the git let's discard these all changes next in the terminal let's run the php cs fixer so dot vendor bin php cs fixer fix now this time we do not need to pass directory path because that we have configured right here so let's run this now this time you can see it has fixed all the php files in the current directory but bootstrap and storage directory has been ignored great now instead of running this long php cs fixer command on terminal every time we can add it to the scripts section of the composer.json file so let's add this so in the editor let's close all of these 
and let's open the composer.json this one scroll down here is the script section and here i will add format and its value is going to be vendor slash bin slash php cs fixer fix i will add one more command that is lint and it is going to be vendor slash bin slash php cs fixer fix dash dash dry run this way we can run the composer format command to auto fix the code or composer lint command for a dry run to show all the files that need fixing without actually fixing them let's see first let's discard all these changes and in the user.php let's add some bad formatting like this next on the terminal here let's run composer lint you can see that this composer lint command has generated these list of files that have issues including this model user.php let's see this and you can see it is not fixed now let's run the composer format and this time you can see composer format has fixed all these files including user.php so in the editor we can see the issues has been fixed now the php cs fixer is successfully configured in the project and the entire team can use this configuration to maintain consistent code style throughout the project next we will configure the php cs fixer with the vs code editor this will allow php cs fixer to automatically fix the issues in the file when you save it so for that let's install the vs code extension that is php cs fixer this one let's install this it is installed now let's scroll down and copy these setting options and control comma to open vs code settings next select this user tab and click on this icon to open global settings.json in the end of this file i will paste the php cs fixer settings options right here so here the first option is executable path and its default value is php cs fixer because i have not installed the php cs fixer globally on this system so we need to change this value this php cs fixer extension has downloaded the php cs fixer binary file in the vs code extensions directory so here we can add dollar in the curly brackets extension path and then slash php cs fixer dot phar for like this in case if this option does not work for some reason you can install the php cs fixer globally and specify the executable command here to do this we can go to the github repository and here is the installation instructions let's open this in the new tab from here install the php cs fixer globally from these two commands or you can download the file from this link and specify the path right here next option is the executable path windows this option is only applicable to windows i am working on linux so i do not need this option i do not think we need this option in windows also because we have already set executable path to php cs fixer binary file right here so let's remove this next option is on save we want to run this on save file so let's set this true next is the rules psr12 that's okay and next option is the config 
This option allows you to specify a list of possible configuration file names separated by semicolons. It first looks for the .php csfixer.php file in the project root directory and if it does not find it, it will search for .php csfixer.dist.php and so on. If it does not find any of these files, it will use the default rules. Next, the allow risk. It allow you to enable or disable the risk rules. By default, value is false. It is all up to you. If you want to enable it, let's set this true. Else, let's leave it false. Next, this path mode is override, which means if you specify the path to file or a directory via command arguments, the path provided to the finder in the config file will be ignored. Auto fix by semicolon false format HTML. We do not want that, so let's set this false. And next is the document formatting provider true. Next, we need to set the default formatter for PHP. So here I'll add in double quotes square bracket PHP and then here I'll set editor dot default formatter and it is going to be June style PHP CS fixer this one and next I want editor dot format on save trio so it is going to format the PHP file on save is done let's test this so in the user.php let's undo changes here you can see we have inconsistent code and on press ctrl s to save file the vs code editor will run the php cs fixer and it will immediately fix these issues let's modify the rule in the configuration file so we can see how it affects the code so in the php cs fixer config file let's say array syntax long and in the user.php file here we have array short syntax and control s to save file immediately it is changed to array long syntax let's undo this rule and user.php save this file and we are back to array short syntax now remember that these php cs fixer configuration is added to the global settings.json of the vs code editor it applies to all php projects regardless of whether the php cs fixer has been installed in the project or not however for this project we have installed the php cs fixer and we want vs code editor should use the php cs fixer binary file from the project's vendor directory rather than from VS Code extension. So for that, let's copy the setting and press Ctrl comma to open settings of the VS Code editor. And next select this workspace and click this icon to open settings.json for current workspace of this project. And here let's paste this. Next here, let's set the value dollar in the curly brackets workspace folder slash vendor slash bin slash php hyphen cs hyphen fixer next let's copy this setting also and paste it here now here we will set dot php cs fixer dot php like this with these changes we have overridden these settings for the project workspace. Let's test this to see if it is working fine. So user.php, let's undo this. Now we have inconsistent code. Control S, it is fixed. Great, it is working fine. Our next step is to set up PHP CS fixer with git pre commit hooks. Our objective is to ensure that PHP CS fixer scans and fixes all staged php files before every commit 
This way we can ensure that each commit is according to our coding standards, improving the overall quality and consistency of the code. For this I am going to use Husky and Lint staged, but I am not going to show you how to install and configure Husky and Lint staged in the project because I have already created a separate tutorial videos on them. You must watch these videos. I will put the link of it in the video description. For this project, I have already installed the Husky and Lint stage. So to use PHP CS fixer with them, let's open the package.json. So first let's close all of these and now let's open the package.json. Here in the script section we have command prepare. So let's run this command to enable Husky. So in the terminal here I'll run npm run prepare. Now Husky git hooks installed. Next in the editor package.json. Here we have options for lint staged. So here I'm going to add star star to scan all the nested folders and then star dot php to scan all php files next in the array here i will set the command php vendor slash win slash php cs fixer fix and then dash dash config is equal to dot php cs fixer dot php is done and it is ready to use so this lint stage going to execute this command for only staged files instead of entire code base so let's test this first let's discard all these changes and let's open the user dot php and here let's add some bad coding style like this control s the editor has automatically fixed the issue let's undo this and control shift p now save file without formatting now we have some bad coding style in the user.php let's open one more file let's say this one and here let's add intendation issue like this and control shift p save file without formatting like this now we have two files user.php and verify email controller with inconsistent code. Now if we go to terminal, let's run git status. Here we have these two modified PHP files and I'm going to add user.php to git staged. So git add app models user.php so git status this user.php is staged and these modified files are not staged so let's commit this user.php git commit let's say format user.php now it has executed the php cs fixer on commit and if we go to editor and user.php you can notice the inconsistent code is resolved but it did not touch the this controller file because it was not staged this lint stage runs this php cs fixer for only staged files now let's commit this also so git add git commit install php cs fixer it's done now let's go to editor you can see the intendation issue is resolved in this controller so there you have it we have covered everything you need to know about installing and setting up php cs fixer in your php projects with this powerful tool in your arsenal you will be writing clean and consistent code in no time if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more insightful coding tips. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैप्पी कोडिंग